Morning. What do you? What'd you cook up? You didn't offer me any breakfast. Are you hungry? No, I'm okay. good. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Look at you. Chefed it up. We got eggs. We got sausage. You know how was how, how's your day going, man? How you doing? Did the you fishing. It? The fishing was okay. I caught three decent fish. That's good. And then I was like, hey, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I should probably make myself some breakfast. What are you doing? Are I you got. Gonna... I'm gonna go fish. You got any tips for me? What's Rackley doing? He's gonna fish. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. You need, do you have any tips for us? They're starting to spawn, but they're tar they're hard to catch. They're hard to catch. That's would you, my would you catch them on? Are you gonna you gonna tell me or do I just need to figure that out? Got one on a. I was, are you using the MTV box? Yeah. Oh yeah. The oh. Juice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got one on the crankbait. Okay. I had a jig. Did you have a jig or an underspin? Uh, we have both. Okay. I caught one on the jig, one on the crankbait, and then one on two on a jig, two on a jig, and one on a crankbait. They're on beds. You caught the jig fish on beds. I caught the one on a bed. Okay. The two other ones weren't on beds. That's good. Yeah. Well, you good enjoy luck. you enjoy your breakfast. Look at this. We got you guys on my channel. Haven't seen this. This is where Peric lives. We moved out of the MTB crib, um, and uh, you know he just decided not to go get an apartment or anything and just bought this instead. So this is his house. He just like I said, he just cooked some food. He's got a bed, storage, garage. We got shower, toilet. Um, this is this editing desk and obviously a steering wheel. So you enjoying you enjoying the van life so far? You killing it? Oh yeah, I mean, I haven't really got to experience it really because we've been doing doing Google and Scott stuff for the past week. But what's what's sneak peek to these viewers on your channel? What's the next big trip in this? John and I. So here's the thing. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. I was going on a long spiel. Yeah, we get, we're already like yeah, two minutes into an intro. We gotta hurry up. John and I are going to Louisiana together. We're not filming. We're filming for uh, MTB in Louisiana, but we're driving there. We're gonna fish East Texas and do that whole thing. And then I'm gonna fish. Mainly, I'm gonna fish Texas for the next week or two in this van. And living it so nothing really that exciting i mean I the mean, spawn is going on in texas and there's 10 pounders to be had and you're going back to nebraska so hey don't roast me go catch some fish all right folks well oh yep that's his those are the eggs that pair, pair, pair those you got any chickens living in there those farm fresh where'd you get those eggs you have a refrigerator in there yeah oh i didn't know that okay anyways how you doing west davis good you killing the, you killing the day killing all right go kill it me and Rackley, we're gonna go. We're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go dangle it in this lake over here. And a pair just got done fishing, and we're gonna go. We're see if we can catch some fish. But we are using the mystery tackle box. Huge thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video. We decided we wanted to fish in the afternoon because a lot of times in the spring, early spring, kind of pre-spawn around the spawn, that the fishing is a lot better in the afternoon after the water has had time to kind of warm up. So that's what Rackley and I are gonna do. We're gonna go dangle it. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks, this is what we're doing. We got the MTB Pro Box. This is what we're gonna be fishing with. This is what Mr. LFG over there and I are gonna be dangling with. What is inside here? Let's find out. We've got some weight stops, little bobber stops. You can never have too many of those guys. We've got a heavy metal tungsten. This is for swim baits. Uh, it's got like, a, it's called a flash bang. It's got a little blade on it and gives off a flash. It's actually really, really good. Ooh, look at that. They actually have some swim baits in here. These are the Exo Swim 4 inch. So those will definitely be paired. We'll put those to the side. We've got some bio bait. These look like little leeches, some some lifelike looking worms. They're black color. This actually work pretty well on like a drop shot or even like a wacky rig uh, style. You know, we're bed fishing, hopefully. So that should do it. We've got buzz bait, which is a really, really good time, uh, a really good bait to throw this time of year in around the spring to search for a fish, especially early morning, late in the evenings. So that'll do. We've got a, ooh, this is a lucky craft. This is a crankbait. Looks like a shallow runner. Almost like a wake bait. It's kind of like a hybrid wake bait and uh, just a normal square bill. Looks like it dives two feet, so that'll be that'll be good. Uh, we got a lot of grass out of this lake, so should be throwing that above that. Then we've got these what are these ultimate strike baits. These are little stick baits. Watermelon red. Yep, that's that's definitely gonna catch fish. Come see that. And then we've got some katana Nico hooks. Um, so I'll probably rig that actual bait that I just showed you there. I'll probably rig that up on this. And uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's obviously a lot of other stuff in here, but. Those are the baits that we've got in the box to use for today's video. I think we're pretty much stacked. The good thing about Mystery Tackle Box, when you receive the box, they plan the boxes and what's inside the boxes around the time of the year. So they know, hey guys, it's spring. So we need to be throwing in a lot of stick baits and some buzz baits, obviously some crank baits, maybe a jig or two, stuff like that. I mean, they keep it pretty simple and pretty much catered to the time of the year. Um, and and that's that makes our life easier. When we're fishing with these boxes, you're, you know, you're gonna catch some fish. They, they, they're fishermen over at MTB. They fish. They know 
what's going on. So if you guys want to make it easy and you don't want to go shopping for tackle online or in a retail store and you just want baits delivered every single month that are good for that month, that specific month or that time of year, um, you know, go check them out. Like I said, link down below. First box you can get as low as $5 uh, if you use promo code small fish. Hopefully you don't have a whole lot of that today. No small fish. No small fish allowed today. All right, folks, here we go. Starting her off. Where's that sunlight? There he is. She is. Yep, yep, boop, boop. Right there. Yep. We're doing a little wacky style. Weightless wacky with that worm. And uh, it's actually the Nico hook, but hey, you know, it's kind of an all-around hook. It's made for the Nico, but it'll work great. Promise. You'll see. I'll hopefully catch a fish today. Knock on wood. Um, but we're going to throw this around. Rackley. You're starting with that little crank, aren't you? I am. The little Six. wake bait. I was saying, I was talking about ripping it through that grass, which is what you're going to be doing. So another just this is just a tip we're going to be going old school flare uh talk for 10 minutes about tips on stuff and are you excited about that yes dude. He, he loves it he loves the old school flare here's a tip you're fishing you're fishing in a boat this is a boat that we're in believe it or not there's a guy in the front there's a guy either you know right where i'm at or in the back if the dude in the front is throwing a moving bait then you need to slow down okay you need to be doing something like i'm throwing whether it's this or a shaky head or even like a jig or a plastic. Not saying if you guys both are throwing the same thing, like I could be throwing that crankbait too and we can both catch fish, but there's gonna be fish that Rackley misses. He, although he's the greatest angler of all time, it's just gonna happen, all right? So this is a good combo, it's a good duo. He's kinda, he's getting the active fish, I'm getting the lethargic fish. We'll see which one's bigger. Maybe the maybe the girls are active today, this afternoon. Maybe they're like, hey, let's go crunch on some little craw crankbaits. Or they're like, hey, let's just go eat this little subtle worm that's falling down. And that's how you figure it out. And then you, you kind of adjust. That way, if you know, if they're eating on, on the moving bait, then I'll grab the moving bait and we'll both catch big fish. So that's just a, that's just an old school tip. Just a refresher uh, course. Just a refresh, yeah, refresher course. You guys know, I went to Florida. Other than that, haven't been fishing about eight months. So I kind of need a refresher course myself. You guys that have been at home, you know, it's been snowing, it's been ice, uh, depending on where you live. But most of you guys that are watching this right now probably haven't done a ton of bass fishing in 2019 yet. So there's a refresher. Keep in mind, if there's two people, throw something different, one fast, one slow. That's how you, that's how you find the Mondos. It's right She's getting there. Yeah. He's getting up there for sure. I think that these fish are probably going to start bedding up this afternoon. And all we're doing right now is just kind of working moving baits up in some shallow grass flats. There's a, that was a bite. I got him. He's on. He's on. He's coming at me. Yeah, we're hooked up. That's a good, that's a dandy right there, son. <laughs> Come on, fish. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. Look at that. All right, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Chill, 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 chill. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Whoa! Yeah. Dude, that's a fatty. That is a free spawn fatty. That is a fatty. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Little pudgy guy smoked the old XO with the flashbang combo. Done, did it right there, folks. That is a good fish. Mm hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good one right there. What do you think about that? Wabam! Oh, that's a fatty. That's a decent one. That is a beautiful fish, dude. Got myself a big in here, folks, on that little swim bait. That's probably, yeah, she's in the fours, maybe five. She's up there. We don't have a scale, unfortunately, but that's a good way to start it off. We're over here throwing in the wind, as you guys can see, but it's a good start to the day. What she smell like to you? What do you, what do you think she should be named? Bertha. Bertha! I like it. All right, we're screwing this guy back on here on the Exo Swim with the flashbang. So, as you guys can tell, I'm not, I don't have a windscreen on my GoPro, so yeah, you hear that? Yep, that's wind. Um, trying to face this way, uh, but like I said, I started with that little weightless uh, stick bait, and uh, the wind was just a little too much. So I actually moved over, tried this little swim bait combo. You're still throwing the crank. Mm -hmm. Yep, still throwing the crank, and, and he caught a fish, and he's got a fish. Right he caught a fish, and he just, he, he's got one. Look at that, right there. So yeah, Rackley, Rackley's catching fish, I'm catching fish. My fish was, uh, it was pretty stinking big. I mean, I don't know, what do you think that one, what do you think that one weighed? Four, man. Probably a four? That's, that's the biggest largemouth I've caught in the States this year, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> new PB. I've also, I've, I've new PB! I got a title, guys. We're, we're, we're good to go. I do, I haven't bass fished, I mean, I fished in Florida a little bit and didn't catch anything big, if I remember right. 
Um, and that was it. Other than that, Mexico was the last Mexico, time I bass fished. Yeah. Um, which I'm pretty sure that fish might be bigger than any fish I caught in Mexico. <laughs> so, no PB 2019. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the deal right now. Is uh, we're fishing shallow. We're looking for fish that are either on beds or moved up or whatever feeding. And that that one I think I might have just bonked it right in the head because it just knocked slack in it. And uh, it was right off the drop off there. But oh, he's hooked up again. He is hooked up again. Good. But like I said, Rackley, yes, he's catching fish. And uh, if you guys want to see those fish catches, you're going to have to go tune into the LFG channel. Come on over. Come on come, over. Go on over. Go, so I've caught one. Have you caught four? Caught four. Okay, four to one. You got. If you guys want to see those catches, you got you to tune in. Uh, tune into his channel. But right now, I'm just I'm dangling this, this little swimmer. He's throwing that crank, and he is... He's doing very well. He's catching a lot of fish. So we might we might be mixing it up here. I might actually, you know what? I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna tie it on. I haven't caught a crankbait fish in uh probably mm, eight, nine months, probably. What? Yeah, I mean probably honestly the last time I caught a crankbait fish might have been like July or August. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't really thrown a crank in a while. We're gonna tie on that little crankbait. Alright folks, crank is tied on. Crank on crank action. You know what I said, folks? I said, hey. You try something different to figure out which one's catching the bigger fish. Well, so far I've caught the bigger fish, but he's also caught like nine fish. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I like catching big fish. Don't get me wrong. But when, when someone finds the juice bait on the juice point, this point right here is the juice. You, you got to switch to the juice. There's one. There's one. Yep. Yes, sir. She smoked. Pop some slack in that one. Come on. Oh, it's a crappie. Away. It's a black crappie. It's a black crappie. Shut up. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> dude. Dude, dude, it's a biggin. Oh my god. We got her. We got dinner, son. <laughs> Catch and cook, baby. Wait, dude, I swear it's my boat, man. That yes. A that is a big freaking crappie right there. I did not expect that. That is a giant crappie, folks. Well, folks, yeah, uh, yep, we're saying goodbye to you, Jimmy. Boom! Did not expect that. You know, it only makes sense, though. The crappie dangler himself rubbed his crappie juice on this, and, uh, you know, he's catching the bass, and I just decided to catch a crappie. Oh yeah. yeah! Did you see that? Yeah. Ripping it out of the grass. That might be. Oh, he's oh, he, he, no, he's swiper. swiper. He's a swiper. Swiped up. Look at this, dude! I ripped it out of that grass, and he absolutely smoked it. Yeah, come here, buddy. You're coming in like a wet sock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your face. I'm sorry. Okay, but that's just how these fish are eating it. I mean, they are just hammering. I think I don't know. If, I was hoping the GoPro was facing the rod, but I literally just pretty hard ripped it from the grass and when I checked back up on it there was a fish on it that was crazy absolutely crazy that thing smoked it man they are just absolutely in love with this thing see buddy this crankbait is is doing it I mean they just they're in love with it how we're reeling this thing is not like something I wouldn't say I normally throw normally when I'm throwing like you know something like a square bill similar to this but this is it's like half wake what's a a squake is this a squake is this a squank a squake bait okay this is a squake bait I'm just making stuff up. You guys know what I'm saying. It's a kind of an in-between from a wake bait and just a normal square bill. But how I normally throw a crankbait is throw it up on the rocks and just put your rod tip down low and bounce off the rocks. This one, we're doing almost like a pump retrieve. They're hitting it on the paws, aren't they? I mean, like, 9 out of 10 of them are just, they're hitting it on the paws. And, uh, and so you want to obviously do as many pauses as possible, especially around the grass. If, I, if you're reeling like this and you're kind of doing a stop and start and you feel grass, just one hard rip will cause a reaction strike for that fish to bite, which is exactly what just happened uh, right there. So there's a tip for you. If you got a squake on and you're fishing around grass, you know, don't just don't just chuck and wind. This is not a chuck and winder, okay? Sure, you can catch fish, but you're gonna catch a lot more if you kind of do more of an erratic. It's almost like a, almost like a jerk bait without doing this whole thing, but just as far as your cadence goes, the start, the stop, really important with a bait like this. And uh, so far, that's what's doing it. This little red, what do you, what'd you call this? A translucent craw? I mean, it's weird. It's weird. It's like you look at it from the top and it's really clear, and then you look at it from the side and it's red. I don't even know how to describe how they, I don't know how they did that, but they did it, and the fish like it. And that's all that matters. There it 
There's one. Yeah. Yeah, there's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, right? Right where this creek is, there's a fish. On the crank. On the crank. We just pulled up. We actually went across the whole dam with not much luck. Wow, you are just really not giving up, are you, buddy? Come on. Come on. You come up here. You get up in this boat. What's up, bud? Hey, how are you doing? Well, I almost, I almost hooked you in the mouth. You did a little, I did a little bit better job than the other, the other fish. But yeah, you were definitely not coming off. But right here, folks, is a creek that runs here. This is the mouth, obviously, where it kind of all opens up, and that's where that fish was sitting. A lot of times, the fish kind of is. It, which way are we facing? North. Well, folks, uh, north. Hey, see, you, buddy. North. The north side of the lake is usually the warmest. Uh, just the way the direction of the sun. Look at look where the sun is. Yeah, you see it right there. It is beaming right at me straight north and it's the this is like the warmest part of the day right here so a north creek that is where fish are going to be spawning it's just how it's going to be and at the mouth of it either you know they're going to be moved up staged up or they're on their way out which at this point in time they are moving their way up the water is 61 so you're pretty much right in that we, what is 65 is that the money actually i always say 65 say it could be a little bit less than that probably 62 62 is minimum if it's 65, something's happening somewhere. But 61, you know, they're pushing up their stage up. They're just about ready to do it, you know, either today, later today, or, you know, sometime later on this week when it warms up. But anyways, I'm still throwing this little crankbait, but the wind's calmed down. So right over here, a bank like this, and, you know, the rocky dam didn't really have much. Maybe the fish are kind of swimming out here. And maybe they're on the way in like this way. So I think I'm gonna throw something more finesse or weightless or slower over here and maybe i'll throw the crankbait over here where it's windy moving baits when it's where it's windy where it's not windy throw more finesse and subtle baits i think that's what we're going to try we'll see what happens all right we've got the worm back on this is what this is what the dangle look like what's it look like in the water yep looks like a worm dope there's one yep we're hooked up on the weightless on the weightless Come on, buddy. Oh, he just chucked the worm. It is floating right there. Come on, little buckaroo. Come here, little buckaroo. Scoop, right up in the boat. There you go. Well, I was throwing the little the little weightless worm I was talking about. Remember when I was saying over here where it's windy, you throw the crank over there where it's kind of, well, it's kind of windy now, but it was kind of calm. I just threw the weightless over there and boom. That dude, wow, that is a chunky, look at the little pudgy guy. Right in the roof of the mouth with the Nico hook. See, just cause it's called Nico hook doesn't mean you only have to Nico hook it. I was wacky rigging it. And, uh, and it's still hooked exactly where you want to hook a fish. Right in the roof of the mouth. Beautiful. See you buddy. That was a fish. That's a fish. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that knocks slack in it right there. I feel like a jig bite that thing hit it so hard. It might be actually a pretty decent one. Little guy. He ain't bad. Come on now. I don't think he's actually that small. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Come on, buddy. Come on. Literally hit it like a jig. Just knock slack in my lining. Come on. Oh, he's barely hooked. Is he going to make the flip? Rackley, what are you thinking? What are the odds? Oh, he just said see you later. He would not have made the flip in case you were wondering. He would not have made the flip. Oh, yeah, bing, bing, chicka, boom, 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 we got him. Come on, fish. Knock slack in my line. Well, oh, wow, wow, is it decent? Is he de I ain't even looking. He made a splash like he was all right. No, I was looking at the rod, Ben. I was enjoying life. I wasn't even looking at the fish. I think it's actually a pretty good one. Yeah, he's not bad. He's a little bigger than the rest of them. Come here, I'm gonna go to the back and land you. Skirt. Here, my friend. I don't think he's coming unbuttoned, but we'll see. We moved over to the windy side and started catching more fish. Come here, buddy. Yep. Yep. Chill. You're just gonna come in the boat. Grab you like that, cause uh, you got a face full of hooks, and I don't want anything to do with that. That's actually one of the better ones on the crank. I think that might be the biggest one I've caught on the crankbait for sure today. But 
the first big fish came on the, the swim bait. And now we got, well, at least a three, three and a half pounder on this little crank. What do you think about that ending, Rackley? Decent? Really nice fatty to end the day. Decent, a little chubby. All right, Bubba. What do you, you gotta name this one. What are you naming him? You have to sniff her? What's she smell like? I'm gonna name her Skittles. Sk <laughs> Skittles, all right. All right, smell the rainbow. See you later, buddy. Oh! Skittles wanted back in the boat. A few moments later. Oh, yep, there's my truck. That's sick. Yep, I don't know if you guys have seen this on my channel, but that's, um, yep, that's me, the mustache. What's RV guy doing? What would the neighbors have to say? Were they pissed? No, 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 they like me. What were they saying? They were just saying, hey, how's it going? And I told them we don't live here anymore. And I told them we were moving. And, um, yeah, they asked uh, about your truck. Oh, I'm sure they really, <laughs> that, who wouldn't love just waking up every single morning in that, just looking you right in the eyes. Who would not enjoy this? What'd they say about the truck? No, no, nothing bad. Just, just catching up, you know. Well, that's uh, that's dope. Did you feed Gary today? No, but he definitely needs to be fed. Ah, oh, we need Gary, to get Gary. Here. We need to get Gary some food. Gary, where is Gary? Wes is loving my shots, by the way. Wes? <laughs> did wanna, Wes? Did Rackley kill the game? Right Look at this. Let's see it. Let's see so it. What did Rackley get? What did Rackley get? What'd you just say? You have a wife. Shut your mouth. Oh yeah. Do you have a polarizer on? Oh, oh, it was that we was that clear, man. It's a myth. You don't need polarizer. That's good. Look at that. Look at oh. that. Just yep. Get your fingers alert. Yep, look at them drippy fingers. That's really spotty. Yep. Huh, how's Gary doing? He should, I'll get him some food later tonight. LFG? Mm -hmm. It's a good time. Talk to Peric about the crank. Yeah. He said he was doing a slam, caught one fish, put it down. <laughs> I was like, bro, it was the juice. Like that was, it was the deal. But we caught a lot of fish, caught some decent ones, and uh, it was overall a good day on the water. Definitely got, I think, sunburn. I could feel like a wind burner. I could feel something yeah. over there. But hey, so it doesn't matter. Cancer is fun. I heard. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment down below what you guys want to see next. I'll be in Texas one more day tomorrow, and uh, probably doing some creek fishing. Then I gotta go back to Nebraska because the farm is still flooded, and um. I don't really know what to do. I had a ton, like a list of videos to film on the farm this spring, as in like now, and I can't because it's all wet and there's, there's water. And uh, so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the farm. I'll figure it out when I get there, I guess. But if you guys, like I said, enjoyed this video, let me know. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.